Russian President Vladimir Putin has warned the United States against deploying long-range missiles in Germany, saying that the move would trigger Moscow to station similar missiles within striking distance in the West. Putin's statement is in response to the U.S. decision last month to deploy long-range fire capabilities in Germany in 2026 in an effort to demonstrate its commitment to NATO and European defense, the Washington and Germany. The flight time to targets on our territory of such missiles, which in the future may be equipped with nuclear warheads, will be about 10 minutes, Putin said, while addressing the event to commemorate Russian Navy Day in St. Petersburg on Sunday. We will take mirror measures to deploy, taking into account the actions of the United States, its satellites in Europe and in other regions of the world," Putin stressed. The Russian leader accused Washington of stoking tensions by transferring Typhon missile systems to Denmark and the Philippines. Furthermore, he compared the US plans to the NATO decision to deploy Pershing II launchers in Western Europe in 1979. This situation is reminiscent of the events of the Cold War related to the deployment of American medium-range Pershing missiles in Europe, Putin emphasized. The Russian Federation which has unleashed a war against Ukraine is experiencing significant problems in terms of recruiting cannon fodder for offensive operations. This will affect the situation at the front. This was stated by Andriy Yusov, a representative of the main intelligence directorate of the Ministry of Defense of Ukraine on the air of an information telethon. In particular, Yusov reported how military intelligence assesses the ability of the Russians to attack and when the Russian offensive will fizzle out. He reported this analysis in connection with the statement by Brigadier General Commander of the National Guard, Alexander Pivnenko, that in a month and a half, the Russian Federation will not be able to conduct active assaults in many directions. The security and defense forces work in coordination and of course data exchange also occurs. It is clear that such assessments are made based in particular on large losses in manpower, equipment and the enemy's forces and resources. Yes, they can now replenish these losses but serious, significant problems with recruiting new contract soldiers are already being observed and the aggressor state is coming up with more and more incentives at different levels to attract new cannon fodder, but this machine is starting to fail," Yusuf said. As the representative of the main intelligence directorate noted, this is why such forecasts appear as voiced by Brigadier General Commander of the National Guard, Alexander Pivnenko. We can already state that there are problems with the plan for recruiting manpower, and this, one way or another, will have an impact on the situation at the front," Yusuf emphasized. Yusuf also commented on the information that the Russian invaders plan to increase the number of people participating in the war against Ukraine from 520,000 to 620,000 by the end of the year. Actually, these are the figures that were mentioned earlier, and these are the enemy's plans. It should be noted that we are talking about the entire group, that is, this is not only the combat component. These are the forces and support, these are the forces that are responsible for the so-called order in the occupied territories, but in fact, for repressions. Because this is not only the combat component, yes, they are trying to move according to this plan. A significant part is focused on replenishing the losses that the Ukrainian security and defense forces are inflicting, destroying the enemy, Yusov said. In addition, he answered the question in which component the Russians are currently in the worst situation. Still, we are talking about providing modern means, that is, modern weapons, modern equipment. Basically, the enemy is focused on de-mothballing and modernizing old Soviet weapons, Yusov said. According to him, the Russians have problems with the production of new equipment, in particular due to sanctions. In particular, the enemy still has significant problems with the availability of modern electronic systems, optics, communication systems and the like. До Светлодарска где-то полтора километра. Вот еще один прилет. Короче, влетел в буханку дрон, видите, буханка, буханка вся прорезиненная, вся в резине. Пассажир погиб, 
к большому сожалению. Ребята нам привезли, это наши ребята, всегда до нас приезжают. Последняя у них буханка, говорит, окажи, помоги, помощь, короче, сделай. Мы пригнали до пацанов, пацанам спасибо, сказали, сделают. Там у них батя уже сказали, она ремонту не подлежит. Но пацаны сказали, все сделают мастера. Еще не такое делали. Ну, осколки, вся в осколках. Один человек только погиб сзади троих контузила. И все благодаря резине, что есть резина. Вот она дверь. Конечно, запах очень такой. Вот. Видите? Если бы не резина, вот это, осколки бы попрошивали дверь. Не все бы влетело в ребят. А так один наш брат принял смерть. Вместе с этой буханкой отправим ребятам дронов пару-тройку штук отомстят за наших на Авдеевском направлении сейчас будет сделано колесо уже поставили новое влетел сильно